Oh yeah. So I'm wanting to make a short video for you, um, and it's about edge marketing or marketing on the edge. I'm outside just because it's absolutely gorgeous out here. It's a lovely warm spring day. Um, don't know if you can pick up the birds singing on this uh, got microphone here, um, but it's it's beautiful. I've got Cooper's with me. Hey Cooper, you're on, you're on camera. Yeah. Okay. So anyway down to the, the, the meat of what I want to say. Marketing on the edge. So, I think that this is one of the key things about successful marketing, right? Which is, there's an edge between the past, which is finished, done, concrete, dead, nothing you can do about it right and the future which is also something you can not really do too much about um, because it's it's random and chaotic and you know there's a squillion different possibilities and then between those two is is this thin film that's the present and I, I visualize it like literally a, a bubble Right, so it's like this oily film where the the future is now rearranging itself and making new past stuff, right? Um, and that's where that's where stuff happens, right? You don't want to live your life in the past, um, just going over and over stuff that you've got no control over anymore. Equally, you don't want to live your life completely in the future, just in fantasy and dreams. You know, you want to live your life in the present, which is where you can actually get something done. Um, and to, to me, marketing is very much like that, right? Um, so what are we saying? We're saying that don't you can't just look backwards and base your decisions and your choices uh, on what has worked for the next guy or even what worked for you 12 months ago. At the same time, it's equally dangerous to be out there completely in the future, just doing random crap all the time and, you know, gambling on total guesswork. So we, we want to identify how do we, how do we ride that film of the, the present? How do we be present in our marketing? So that's kind of one question. Um, and I, I came across an ad. You, you may have seen it on, on Facebook. Um, 524 profitable SEO niches, 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 right? 524 profitable SEO niches. And I just thought, right, this is, this is just this is such a good example of what's so completely stupid about the way that people sell marketing knowledge right now, right? So basically what I'm doing is I'm here to say, stop buying marketing knowledge. It, it, what, what it's like is, Okay, I could tell you a profitable SEO uh, niche, right? Um, I found, found an amazing one last week, but the minute that you start telling everybody um, what's, what's working now, that's when it starts to stop working, right? Because if you have a, an SEO niche, then, um, you know, 10 people try and get into that niche, then suddenly the top 10 gets an awful lot busier. And it's not a profitable SEO niche anymore. So it's like the, the minute that you start copying what's working for somebody else, the minute you start losing on that. So the, the exciting, amazing and magical stuff that happens is it comes from you know, just, just in the future, right? You can't copy what's working for somebody else. I, I, I've been... I've been speaking to a few clients recently and I'm getting this 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 picture that so many people are so bloody confused about what to do with their marketing and they come to me and they say, hey Ben, um, I just want you to run your eye over this and tell me if we've missed anything, right? We've got this funnel, okay, so we're going to run some Facebook ads and then we're going to push people through to a squeeze page and... Um, a landing page and we got a, a video then with a, an opt-in for an evergreen webinar that will then grab your email address and then put you into a follow-up sequence and, and I, I, I'm sitting there thinking for goodness sake you know <clears throat> okay funnels can work 
funnels that that kind of funnel that, that you're going to learn from you know uh russell brunson's event or whatever um is likely to work for people like russell right for people in the information marketing space where you're working with lists and you know relatively big numbers and stuff that kind of numbers game now i'm not saying i'm not here to say that 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 type of funnel construction doesn't work anything can work we know that anything can work um and also anything also can't work because it's completely dependent on your context right and this is the thing i can't tell you what's the right way for you to market on this video i can maybe help you to identify what's what's likely to work for you um but you know for me it, it would be like me giving you a, a a medical diagnosis on a video like one to many broadcast it's a stupid idea Re utterly utterly ridiculous right um so people come up with these 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 over complex funnels and it's like you've been told this works this works this works and that works so what you need to do is you know so people are going going into coming coming out of the store with all of these things right? they're trying to try them all and they bolt them all together in this big kind of doctor's use type of machine and and that you know which is obviously at every point in that process is leaking and then say oh you know ben can you kind of help me optimize this thing and it's like i don't think so like we have to go back it's because marketing in in theory for me is it's not about doing all the right things it's about finding one thing one right thing that works for you and i can't tell you what that thing is and nobody can tell you what that thing is because it comes from your immediate future right if, if some, something worked for me um you know yeah i can give you i can give you ways that you might increase traffic or um you know increase opt-in rates or conversion rates and little piecemeal things but you know you can't go around and just collect like a pick and mix all these different little little things and expect to come out with a great campaign because th that's really what we're talking about you know yes you can improve little bits but greatness greatness comes from what's what's your thing what's right for you right now and it's not 524 profitable SEO niches right nobody can give you an ebook that's going to have the answer for you because the answer for you is your answer so you know I guess what I'm saying on one level the whole kind of marketing education thing is um, is just whack it's it's not it's it, you know it's not way it's not where you're gonna find your amazing breakthrough you might find some benefits I'm not saying you won't but you know it's not where your 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 huge success is going to come from your huge success is completely individual and it comes from your edge it definitely doesn't come from the safety or the the perceived safety of what has worked in the past for you or for anyone else and it doesn't come from it just being completely stupid and random and picking something you know crazy out of the future it comes from I mean, I'll try and sum it up for you and then wrap up this video. It comes from, if I have to say, you've got to know who you are, what you're doing in business, what your purpose is for the world, what your vision is, you know, the, why the hell are you doing what you do, right? Know that. Know it completely. Nail it. Um, and then embody that thing completely. Like for me, you know, the marketing strategy thing, I'm, I'm really trying really hard to offload all the other things that that I do that distract me right as I've been talking about but um, so for me marketing strategy is, is the one thing that inspires me um, it fits you know my, my strengths and weaknesses um, I love it you know doing it and thinking about it and all, all that kind of stuff so it's, it's a really good fit for me um, so you've got to find your place as so I'm in my garden here um, you see that there's very very little growing um, I've got potatoes in and there's some garlic and stuff coming up but you know I've, I've 
said this before that plants have their own particular place where they grow you know nature's actually flooded with seeds out there you know come end of summer autumn there's seeds everywhere grass seeds everywhere you know all over the place and why do particular things grow in particular places it's not because a seed happened to land there seeds all over the place it's because that seed is in the right place right um if you read the new testament there's a story about that as well um so what was i talking about things grow in the right place so you you have to know who you are what kind of plant are you put yourself in your right place get your roots down become um intimately interconnected with your your space your tribe your people and then it's a case of it, it's actually a big part of it i think is being yourself some some of these videos that i put out you know i literally start to record a video and i don't really know what i'm going to talk about you might have picked that up um but they interesting they, they get a really good response and i've had a couple of interviews over the last uh, six or twelve months with uh, Mega Macedo, who's uh, wonderful, um, and you know she's building her, her her whole message is is about be yourself, be yourself marketing. That, that's actually what I think she called her her course. You know her whole thing is about be yourself marketing, and you know so that what comes up for you, what is natural for you, the any idea that starts to come up through the ground. And, and start to tickle your brain if you are in your place and you're not flitting around this is important right they're trying all these little things all these tactics and stuff that's flitting and you don't want to do that you don't want to flit and I can tell you that with integrity because I'm a flitter okay um, so don't flit get your roots down feel what comes up for you and that's likely to be coming up for other people around the same time um, and just express it and don't expect to get it perfect right um, I, I could probably come up with a hundred examples of doing this and 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 not doing it as well um, but I think that will that will just about do so you know just to sum up then marketing on the edge it's the edge between the the safe, familiar, old stuff that works. Now, look, look right, sometimes you may be in a um, in a commodity kind of market, commodity sector, and sometimes just traditional stuff just works and keeps on working, right? But if you're in quite a competitive space, and you know it's it's unfamiliar, and you're trying to make a market for yourself and you know you're really trying to carve a, a place for yourself in the market um, that's when that's when you need to know your edge you right? you need to you need to be fine-tuned can't try everything you can't be everything you know polarize have an opinion stand for something all these things kind of come into it so um, you know they say that now that safe is the new risky the risky is the new safe and I, I really believe that you know so um, not 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 completely wacky and out there like I say but yeah so maybe, maybe look at yourself look around yourself and I guess I guess you know this message is it cuts both ways really because on one level I'm here to say that I or anybody else can't really solve your your puzzle for you right now but on the flip side of that you can you're the only person that that, that really can and I, I would work I'm very very happy to work with you um, to try and help bring that out but ultimately it comes from you it's like like city slickers you know when um, the guy goes up to Curly, the old crusty old cowboy, and says, "What's the, what's the the secret of life? What's the meaning of life?" And Curly just went, "It's one thing. It's your thing. I can't give you that thing." Which is, you know, there's the bad news, and it's also the good news because you know only you can find it yourself. So 
you know have faith have courage that you know it's it's there um and a part of this is deciding who you are you know you get to do that because you're on that edge right you are not the product of your past you're not the product of your education, your parents, your culture, your religion, all, all these things and your experiences. Um, and because part of what who you are is also your future and your future is something that you can steer yourself towards. You can start to decide who you choose to be right now. And if you, if you can say, this is what I'm gonna be and I, be I believe that, I believe that I can be this thing, then, then be it as well. Um, so lots, lots, to, lots to think about. Um, thanks for listening, 15 minutes. I know it's been quite a long time. Um, I hope it's been useful for you. Um, please leave some comments. And if you're a premium subscriber uh, to Web Design From Scratch, then you know, feel free to contact me and we will, um, you know, maybe we can explore the stuff a little bit together. But thanks again for your time. It's been great. Talk.